Every month, there's a video prompt on the Poetry P YouTube channel, which is designed to inspire your creativity. Linda Ludwig, our video prompt editor, reads all of the submissions and chooses some to feature on this, the Poetry P cast. And of course, in the Poetry P journal. Today is the day I feature the wonderful original poetry on the PCAST. And you can read them in the next journal, which should be out at the end of April. The journal is part of the package for ISA and Busan members. Details are, of course, in the show notes. But even if you're not a member, you can get it too. You can purchase it via the website. So I hope you enjoyed today's PCAST. I'm Patricia, and this is the Poetry PCAST. Happy to be with you. Before we get to some original poetry, let me do a little bit of housekeeping. First of all, if you like what you hear, perhaps you could share it with your poetry friends. Like it, review it, and comment wherever you get your podcasts. I'd be internally grateful. Then, a little reminder to you to check out the submissions diary, have a look at what we're reading at the moment, and see if you have something you can submit. As I publish this PCAST, we're setting out on the first of our submission periods for Hai Bun. If you have no clue what I'm on about, check out the recommended podcasts in the show notes for a little bit of help and inspiration. This year, Poetry P Press will be publishing its very first anthology of Haiku and Senryu. But you're going to need an invite to submit. How do you get that invite? Simple. You need to be on our mailing list. If you're not signed up, then head over to the Poetry P website when you've had a listen to the poems today and sign up for the newsletter. And last but not least in this housekeeping section anyway, I've got some very exciting news. At least Linda and I are excited. We had a little discussion and because this feature, this video prompt feature, has been so popular, from March onwards, we're going to feature more poems from the prompt. So if you've not submitted yet, get a wiggle on. We're halfway through the month. It's easy. If you don't know how to do it, just put your poem in the comments section. You can put as many as you like. Linda will read them. So, who has Linda chosen to feature today? Let's find out, shall we? Pickpocket. The heron knows how to filch a fish. Pickpocket. The heron knows how to filch a fish. Tony Williams. I appreciate that very particular word, Tony, filch. And the alliteration, of course, filch a fish. Harsh winds. A heron practices the balancing act. Harsh winds. A heron practices the balancing act. Mona Betty. Thank you, Mona. I was down at my little frog pond yesterday checking out the frogs. No sign of them yet, even though they've closed the roads all around here just so they can go mating. And there was a heron in the pond. And it let me get really, really close. I was very, very excited. A plane roars in a duckling's silence, clear sky. A plane roars in a duckling's silence, clear sky. Lakshmi Aya. Lakshmi, I love the juxtaposition there in the first two lines. The noise of the plane, and they get everywhere, don't they? Every time I try and take a a video for the prompt, it feels like a plane ruins it. And the ducklings, silence. 
Thanks, Lakshmi. Capillary waves massage the shore, a heron's shrug. Capillary waves massage the shore, a heron's shrug. Joshua Gage. I wonder what effect this poem has on you when you read it. For me, it's the wonder of the waves and the shoreline and the gentle shrug of the heron who's seen it all before, can take it or leave it. Thanks, Joshua. Old feathers ruffle in the wake of the young. Old feathers ruffle in the wake of the young. Lindsay Sears. Lindsay, I feel you're writing about my life here. <laughs> Thank you very much. And congratulations to Tony, to Mona, to Lakshmi, Joshua, and Lindsay for creating such fabulous poems inspired by the video prompt, which of course was from Reed Hepworth. The link to this month's prompt will be in the show notes. Make sure you add your poems in the comments under the video. And even if you're not chosen, there are many, many poets who will read your work. So it's just like being published. Linda, as always, thank you for the work you do to promote haiku and senryu and the invaluable help you give me here at Poetry P. Do join us next time for more poetry. But until then, keep writing. Remember your mission if you choose to accept it. Like, share and review the podcast. Check out the Poetry P membership scheme. Add your poem to the March video prompt or whatever month you're listening to this, there'll be a prompt apart from December. And if you're not on the mailing list, sign up. You don't want to miss the chance to be in our very first Poetry P anthology. Hope I haven't missed anything, but you know what to do if I have. Ciao!